everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about what we know so far about the hypothetical Call of Duty 2017, Call of Duty World War 2, so yeah let's get started. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the things that we know so far and guys if you would like to check out a video that I upload on Monday and that is my opinions towards Call of Duty World War 2, is it real, things like that, it will be linked down in the description as well as a card on your screen right now. Also before we get too far into this video, if you are enjoying it don't forget to leave a like let's see if we can get five likes on today's video that would be absolutely amazing yeah let's get right into it so the first piece of information that we have towards call of duty world war 2 and that's going to be from 2015 the activision ceo says future call of duty titles returning to world war 2 era is certainly possible which this means that's kind of into towards world war 2 and that's actually really good because it means that there is quite a possibility of there's actually being a world war 2 call of duty game as well as it even goes a little bit deeper in that in 2014 michael Condry, who is an advanced warfare dev as well as the people that are making call of duty 2017 says i think a next generation game with the latest production values and robustness in a world war ii setting like band of brothers would be amazing and that is from michael condry and from these two quotes it really does set up call of duty 2017 possibly being in world war ii because this means that they're not too far from the idea they're not thinking oh it's not possible it's not going to be happening and this is from 2014 and 15 so that was about the time that advanced warfare came out and this would be about the time that i would assume that call of duty 2017 would go into production. Now what I mean by production, I mean like very early phases. So that's a really good sign. As well as we have other pieces of information that really hint towards Call of Duty 2017 being World War II. And as if you actually did not know from a couple of months ago, Activision Blizzard actually had a press conference because they had their quarterly review, which basically they go over how much earnings they have. And in that press conference, they talked to the shareholders of Activision Blizzard. And in that press conference, they talked about Activision Blizzard games, like for example, Destiny, Skylanders, things like that. And once they got to Call of Duty, they said that the futuristic setting in Infinite Warfare did not go over too well. As well as they said that they want Call of Duty 2017 to quote unquote go back to its roots. Now of course in this press conference they could have been talking about modern Call of Duty games because that is really where the franchise started to pick up. However, there's really nothing more like Call of Duty's roots than World War II. The first like five Call of Duty games, four of them were set in World War II. So when they mean by going back to their roots, it could be quite possible that they're talking about World War II. Now what he talked about before is all fine and dandy, however now I'm going to be talking about some things that really do confirm Call of Duty 2017 being World War II. And that's for one, we have Shinobi602. Now, if you actually want to know who this guy is, he is a video game leaker and he's been leaking the last couple of Call of Duty games, such as Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, Events Warfare, and they've all been correct so far. And in many cases, when there's a Call of Duty leak or rumor, they won't believe it until Shinobi602 actually says that it's right or wrong. And in this case, he actually confirmed Call of Duty 2017 to actually be set in World War II. Too. He tweeted, and I actually retweeted that tweet on my Twitter account, and I quote, Since I've asked about Call of Duty dozens of times, it's already out there, honestly. As well as he replied from a comment on that tweet from at Trappy Tweets, as well as at Prestigious Key. And what he said is, wait, wait, so what? You're saying is World War II the setting? And then he said, that's correct. So that basically confirms Call of Duty World War II to actually be real. As well as the people that originally leaked Call of Duty 2017 being Call of Duty World War II actually have a bit of a track record being that they leaked Infinite Warfare before it actually came out and before anybody really knew if Infinite Warfare was going to be futuristic or not. And yeah, from the information that we know so far, it looks pretty likely that Call of Duty 2017 is going to be set in World War II. Now, I'm not saying that it's actually going to be called Call of Duty World War II. It could be named something completely different. However, from the news and information that we know so far, it's quite possible that Call of Duty 2017 is going to be a World War II Call of Duty game. And for longtime fans of a series like me, that is really awesome awesome because the last World War II Call of Duty game was Call of Duty World at War, which is a gameplay that you're walking string in the background, and that came out almost 10 years ago. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. As well as guys, if you would like to check out a video that I uploaded about two days ago, and it was my opinions, and do I think personally that Call of Duty World War II is actually going to be Call of Duty 2017, if you would like to check out that video, it will be linked down in the description. Description. So yeah, that has really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.